Hey, g'day folks. Today I've had to make up uh, nine pieces that are all the same. Uh, yesterday I bent up the tubes, but then uh, today I have to weld all of the pieces on and they need to be in the same spot and the same orientation and we get all nine of them the same. Sometimes doing them individually is a little bit difficult. Today I'm going to show you how I've made up a little jig that we can continuously make the same product each time and the better the jig is, the better your product can be each time. So this is a very simple little jig. It is actually part of the job and I've just utilised one set of, these are legs, they actually sit up the other way and the a seat bench sits on top of them but I've had to make these up uh, I've utilized the chair itself and turned that into a jig and I'll show you how we've done that. So I have all the parts I need to make the legs. I've got the, the tubes which have all been bent the same and then I've got some angles cut which are all the same and I've also made some little gussets all been made the same. Um, here is the part of the, this is the seating part of the, of the frame. I've got a little piece of angle on the back here. I put the angle, this, this, these parts are the pieces that we're working with. I've got some angle holding on them. I use a little clamp so that these don't move and it doesn't lift up here. We're all working with flat areas. Locks them into place. Okay, so once I've got that, I've got a set distance now that I put these apart. It's 150 mil between each one. That's 75, 75 and 50. Keeps them apart because these little angles are 225 mil long. So I put the, the legs in the center of the angle the legs get bolted on to the chair itself four bolts will hold the the chair legs on uh, for me to make it the same we spaced it out evenly with 100 or 75 75 and 50 that's 100 and that's 200 mil apart and then we put the leg on here now i get the clamps and i clamp it into position little clamp, just fasten that on gently, and a second clamp on the other side, fasten that on gently, alright, once that's on, I check the heights of the legs, because they're all the same, it was one, uh, 528 is what it's supposed to be. This is 532. Little tap on the top. Wrong way, of course, on the camera, but that's right. There we go. Twitch these up a little tighter so they're not moving anywhere. Now this jig, just with these box sections here, we're pulling the legs square. We don't have to square them each time. That's where a jig will come in handy. Okay, so now I just get to tack these in place. the earth on the leg itself. Put a tack on here. Other side.
once they're tacked in position, we can remove the clamps. And we can remove the spaces. And this leg is already rigid enough not to move anymore. So that's welded on and welded on. And I've put in some gussets, one on this side, centralize it, put a little tack on it. Oh, earth clamp, of course. Caught me out, didn't it? Go back again, put the bracket on, put a tack on it, same on the other side, put a tack on it, alright now we weld it out. side of these legs. And there we have it finished. And we can remove our wax. And this is jammed in there because there's a slight little recess on here, but we can pull that out. And there is our piece. We've got one more of them to go. I'm not sure if you need to see another one, but just to show you that that's how we make jigs to work for us to make our job repetitive, make it easier. This just sits in there, we put the pieces on, clamp them on, and we do the same system again and again and again. And then once they're all finished, I'll put each a chair has three legs in it, one on each end and one in the middle, and they will get bolted on, and then the chair flips upside down and away they go. Merry Christmas. All right, guys, thank you for watching me. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, jigs can be used for all sorts of things. Every boat that has been made has been made in a jig. Uh, sometimes I feel like some of the boat manufacturers should spend a little bit more time on their jigs to make the boat the same, left and right, front and back. They just rush them through sometimes, I feel. But anyway, that's all different boat manufacturers do that. Um, you can see how easy it is to make a jig. I mean, it's not 100% accurate on this particular setup here, but it is good enough for chair legs on a stool. And if that's the, the intensity of what we're talking about here, well, it'll be all right and the chairs going on grass i've been told the information about that so if there is a little bit of unevenness in the legs boop, onto the grass no one will ever know anyway but uh jigs are a wonderful thing so uh there's always an application for them as i said before three legs on each one damn good and they're not even fastened on you'd have to be happy with that wouldn't you
This is the hungry caterpillar. Thank you for watching once again. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Enjoy the next video. See you next time. Bye for now.